Hello my friends, and welcome back. In this video, I will be walking you through how to set rules which determine where certain application windows get placed. To start off, why don't we take a look in the sample configuration file. On line 18, we can see that we have five workspaces that are created for us. And let's say I want Google Chrome to always be on workspace two. So why don't we open up Google Chrome right now before we have any rules. And as you can see, it's here on workspace one, moving around, no problems. If I were to move to workspace two, we're now on workspace two, can open Google Chrome again, and it'll be here on workspace two. I can also send it back to workspace one. It's pretty free. What we are gonna do is we're gonna use this command, comma rbc named workspace rule. Uh, let's take a quick look at the help. It takes a type of identifier, which is either the executable, the class, or the title. Uh, the identifier itself, which in our case is going to be chrome.exe, and then the name of the workspace that we want to assign this application to. So let's go ahead and send this. And now when I open Chrome, you see very briefly it tried to open up here on workspace one, but it's not here, right? So if we switch to Workspace 2, we'll see Chrome is abiding by the rule that we have set. I can try and move this back to Workspace 1. And you can see it was there for a split second. But then the rule got applied again, and it was sent back to Workspace 2. And that is pretty much it. As always, you can open up your Comarebi configuration file in Notepad. You can make this permanent by adding uh, by adding the rule anywhere in your configuration file before the final complete configuration command. And that is it. Pretty pretty simple today. Uh, before I leave you, I would like to draw your attention to the sponsor page for this project. Uh, if you've been watching these videos, you already know that even a dollar a month as a sponsor, it makes a huge difference to me. And of course, if you are using the software in a professional setting, consider reaching out to an engineering manager, a VP of engineering, even the CTO and saying, hey, you know what? I make great use of this software. It makes me very productive. And if the company is going to sponsor any project, it may as well be this project. That's all for this time. I hope whatever you do today, you'll have a great, great day.